Matt Holtquist here with QuickBooks University. Hey, I wanted to show you this uh, video here uh, to show you kind of a neat trick in QuickBooks that uh, could really help you out in your business. Uh, now, in some of the training and some of the other videos I've done, I've, I've talked about you know the importance of when you have a loan in your business and you make payments. Uh, you have to break that payment out between principal and interest. And a lot of times, like especially when you get car loans or you know, even other loans in your business, you, you don't really know. You just get a bill that says, hey, you know, your payment amount is $600 or, you know, $500 or whatever it is. And there's no breakout between principal and interest. And so you end up just having to put it somewhere. Usually people put it to the loan. So the entire payment, they just put to the loan and it ends up understating the interest expense on their books and makes their principal balance on the loan less than it really is. And so you get kind of messed up financials and you want to have correct financials so you can make good business decisions. So I wanted to show you a quick and easy way in QuickBooks to track these loans and get the breakout. Okay. So what you're going to do if you go to the banking drop down menu here, you're going to see something called loan manager. Okay, so let's go in there. And this is a place that you can manage your loans, meaning that you're just tracking your loans and it breaks out the principal and interest for you. So uh, basically what this is doing is creating what's called an amortization schedule, which is just the breakout between principal and interest. All right. You don't have to do this in QuickBooks, but it's just an extra feature that uh, can definitely help you out. All right. So first we go to add a loan and we're going to say account name. So this is the liability. So you want to make sure you set this up on the front end. So let's say that it's loan trailer and in the books, the current balance is $7,600. You're going to pick the lender. Uh, you know, let's just pick one here, 84 lumber. The origination date is the date you took out the loan. The original amount. We're going to say is $7,600. The term, 60 months. Let's hit next. Due date of next payment. So in general, if this is a new loan, this is going to be when the first payment is due. The, the payment amount, we're going to say is $600. And the next payment number is number one. So that's the first one. Payment period monthly. Does it have an escrow payment? We're going to leave that as no. Okay. And alert me 10 days before the next payment is due. You can check that or uncheck it. Let's hit next. Okay. The interest rate we're going to say is 6.5. Uh, compounding period monthly, et cetera, et cetera. The payment account is going to be our checking account. Okay. And the interest expense account is going to be the interest expense loan interest. All right. And you can leave that bank service charges as is. All right. So let's click finish. OK, so we've put in this loan. So you'll see here the loan shows up and we've got this summary. Now, if we click on the payment schedule, you're going to see this breaks it down. This is an amortization schedule. So it's showing you that, OK, on this first payment of six hundred dollars, the principal amount to go towards the liability will be this much and the interest expense will be this much. And this will be the balance of your loan. Okay. So it takes it all the way down. All right. So you can print this. All right. And that will print it off. So when you get your bill, you can go in and break down the bill between principal and interest. And you also have some what if scenarios, which is a, a pretty cool feature here. So you can go in to each of your loans and play around and say, okay, what if I change my payment amount? What if I change my interest rate? How much will I pay with a new loan? What if I refinance, evaluate two new loans? So basically you can say, you know, all right, I'm, I'm going to pay $800. Okay. Calculate. Okay. And it's going to basically redo this amortization schedule for you. OK, you can do 200. You can. So you see, you can play around with some different scenarios. OK, what if you got 
two new loans. Okay, which one? So one could be a lower payment, higher interest rate. One could be a higher payment, lower interest rate. And you just basically see what the best option is for you. All right. So it's kind of cool to go in here and do some what if scenarios and play around with your loans. All right. So let's cancel this. Now, one thing this does not do is when you get a bill. So if we close this and we go to enter a bill. So let's say we got a bill from 84 lumber. Okay it's not gonna automatically tie that into the loan. So even if you say, hey, this was a loan payment, it doesn't automatically tie it in. So you're gonna to have to break that out when you get the payment, break it out between principal and interest. All right? So I thought that's a uh, pretty neat little feature within QuickBooks that you can use to amortize your loans and figure out uh, how much your payments go to principal, how much go to interest. Uh, so use it, man, it's a great tool to use within QuickBooks. For more uh, you know, tips, tricks, things of that nature, head over to QuickBooks University, qbuniversity.org. Uh, we got a full 45 video uh, program over there that breaks down how to use QuickBooks step-by-step -step in your business. And uh, it, it's guaranteed to teach you how to use QuickBooks. Plus support from me, I answer all your questions over there. Head on over, look forward to seeing you there.